hello everyone welcome back to our channel yes guys and we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel you guys are simply the best and we say god bless you my people we pray that even as you're supporting this channel god almighty will support you whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes we're back again with more update regarding the edo state governorship election we all know what's going on now in edo state is campaign activities of um, the different political parties we know the two main political parties are the all progressive congress apc and pdp actually there are 14 political um, party that i neck um, um, announced and released their names uh, that are participating in the forthcoming edo election but let's tell ourselves the truth the battle is actually between the two main political party apc and pdp right now guys um, obaseki is out and about him um, he's just going to inspect him um, the marine police post and eight gun boats and other uh, um other uh, um uh, um development in the gelegele community we'll bring more details um, in a moment we all know that all of these are still part of the campaign activities we'll let you know um all of the details in a moment but before we do guys please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet do give us a thumbs up my people show us some love click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well hit on the subscribe button it really does mean a lot to us thank you once again god bless you my people yes and we'll go straight into the news and grab all of the details obaseki inspects marine police post eight gunboats and others in gelegele community the edo state governor and candidate of the people's democratic party pdp mr godwin obaseki on wednesday inspected eight gunboats marine police post and accommodation for security personnel among other projects executed by the state government to check criminality and insecurity in the riverine community of gelegele and environs in ovia north east local government area of the state the governor who was accompanied by his deputy right honorable comrade philip shaibu and other members of the edo state pdp campaign council as well as supporters said the facility tour was part of his re-election campaign program in the local government area addressing journalists in gelegele obaseki said We are here to assess the security investments we have made in the Gelegele community. You can see that we have built a marine police post and accommodation for the marine police establishment here. This is a very porous waterway that leads to Ondo State and the rest of Niger Delta. It is important that we secure the community against pirates and kidnappers. In addition to the investment made for the Nigerian police in terms of our building and accommodation and the police station We have also bought four gun boats and four auxiliary patrol boats. We have eight gun boats which the state government invested in for the police to secure this access. Obaseki reassured we are working hard on improving the lives and social welfare of the people in this environment. We are reconstructing roads and other infrastructural facilities because without access roads, the cost of living will be high for the people. By the time we finish the construction of Ekenwan Road, which is a dual carriage way that will extend to the Benin River port, the living condition of the people in this area will have changed radically. My prediction is that in another 3 years when you will come here you will not recognize what you see. Yeah, so guys, like I said, um, all of these are still part of um the campaign activity. So he inspected um some of, of the um state project being carried out um in this community, Gelegele community, to see um how work is going so far and um um all that they've done um for that community. And one thing he stated there um because we know um the press was there as well, journalists were there. He stated that um what he he is concerned about is to ensure that um the riverine areas are secured. because we know these are access points um, where uh, um, bandits or insurgents or um, um kidnappers and all of those um, criminal activities they can have access through the riverine area if they are not properly secured and if the police are not properly equipped and even looked after even if um, they are there they cannot even uh, um function properly they cannot do all that they need to do so basically when they are is reassuring them that they will even get more uh there was provision for more guns and even um the gun boats and all of that 
And um, he's stating as well that um, they need they are they are working on constructing good roads in that community as well. Very correct what he stated that um, when the roads are there are no good roads that are accessible roads that you can link one community to another. The cost of uh, uh, living becomes very high. Quite correct. It means that you cannot even do business. Things, uh, uh, if there are no good infrastructure, business cannot flourish properly. Business cannot uh, um, thrive uh, um, well in those communities. So he's working towards them um, doing all of that. So all of, like I said, these are all of his campaign um, activities as well because he uh, is campaign coordinator. They were there with him as well as his deputy. Philip Shaibu, they were there with him um, on that tour to Gelegele community. And he has stated that even uh, um, the Akenwa um, dual carriage road that is being worked on, that, that will, it, it will improve the living condition of people in that area and it will change their lives drastically. And he has stated that uh, give it another three years. So right now he's speaking about his next tenure and he's speaking from a standpoint uh, he's going to win the governorship election because uh, if this is his project and he's projecting that three years down the road from now that you will not be able to re recognize um, this community, it means um, he's, he's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. He's quite positive um, with all of his campaign activities that he's taking to different community and he can see that he's actually going to win the election. But anyways, uh, we cannot um, just conclude based on all of that. Edo Light need to come and cast their vote and really uh, uh, confirm that all of Aseke has been saying, if they actually believe all of that, because the point where they cast their vote, that determines if they actually believe Obaseki or not. So guys, uh, yes, uh, uh, more update is coming regarding the Edo State Governorship election. We know because it's not long to go. Um, campaign activities are not done. They are doing their best. I know right now is uh, 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 um, almost time up. So they are, it's showdown. Okay, I'll call it showdown or countdown. So they are doing all they can to ensure that no community is left out, that they get to every community to uh, um, um, take their campaign activities there and let his voice be heard there in the different community and all the things he's promising them. You can see regarding the Ekenwa Road, what he has stated, the Dwar Carriage Road, that he has stated, I give it another three years that you will not recognize them, what you will see in the environs. My people, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Um, let us know, drop us a comment and we're waiting to hear from you. Thank you once again, guys. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Show us some love. Do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. So I come your way again is bye for now and God bless.